at the end of the day, your biggest gift, your biggest power, is yourself. Something that you have that nobody else has. It's you. Nobody else is like you. So many of us, especially today with social media, we try to be something that we're not to get where we want to go. If you got to be something you're not just to get your wants, that should tell you something. That should tell you that what you want is probably what you don't need in your life. Because everything that you need, you will receive by being yourself at some point in time. And if it doesn't come to your life, then guess what? It's probably not meant for your life. It's probably not good for your life. Even if you think it looks good in your life. And I know that's hard to understand. Especially when we're living in the social media age where we are comparing, where we're worried about followers, where we're worried about likes and all of these different things. You don't have to be something that you're not. You can be who you are and you can make a big impact on the world. There's nothing wrong with being inspired, but be inspired to be the best you. Be inspired to be who God created you to be, not to be someone else because you want all the other things. So be who God created you to be. Be yourself. Even if it's not popular, who cares? You have to be your passion. You have to be your values. Whatever it is you say you want to do, be that person. In this time that we're going through, we need this. We need this because I see so many people like losing respect for themselves and disrespecting themselves just for a like, just for a follower, just for some attention. You can be yourself and that's enough. Who you are, who you look in the mirror every single day, that's enough. And I'm not saying you can't be a better you, but don't think that you are not enough. God created you so whatever purpose he has for your life, you are enough. You just gotta own it. You just gotta embrace it. You just gotta live it, breed it, and be it. I just want people to unlock that gift and unlock that power that's inside you. And that is owning oneself. And that is loving yourself. Learning to be comfortable in your own skin. And trust me, there's people out there that won't like you. But who cares? Stop trying to be liked so much. Everybody's not gonna like you. Everybody's not gonna agree with you. Everybody's not going to like your message. You will be misunderstanding, but who cares? You're not here to be liked. You are not. You are here to make an impact in this world with your life. You are here for a purpose. You are here for a cause and I don't know what that is. You have to discover that. And everybody's not going to agree with you. And it's okay. So you gotta realize, insecure people will always try to make you feel insecure yourself. People who aren't happy with their own life will try to make you unhappy with your own. People who can't look in the mirror at themselves want to make you feel insecure to look in the mirror at yourself. They try to put that on you. And so many people do that because they're worried about social media. They're worried about what people think. They're worried about fitting in. Why are you trying to fit in when you were born to stand out? Think about that. Why are you trying to fit in when you were born to stand out? So own that. All those laws that you have, that people make you feel insecure about, own it. Own all those things because when you own yourself, there's nothing nobody can use against you. That's the key to life. It's realizing that you are enough. It's owning yourself. It's living it, breeding it, being it. And that means every single day. You can't say you want to progress your life. You can't say you want to move forward with your life when you are doing things that aren't moving you forward. When you're spending time on things that add no value to your life. The journey is never easy. But I'll tell you this. Sometimes most of the times that imperfect paths, ugly roads, they lead to beautiful destinations. Sometimes that journey, the ups and downs, 
that path, the bad paths in life, will lead you to the perfect place that's right for your life. So you have to go through your worst times in order to meet your best times. That's just the real deal. Who are you when nobody's looking? Who are you if you couldn't say a word? What would your life say? You got to breathe it as if it's your oxygen. You got to breathe it like that. You got to take responsibility over your life and it's not going to be easy. I'll tell you one thing. If I make a mistake, I'm gonna learn from it. Believe that and that's what life is about. Life is not about perfection. It's about progression. It's not about being perfect. It's about becoming better. So own your mistakes and own your past. Visions aren't enough. Your vision isn't enough. Your want to do something isn't enough. It can create the destination, but it cannot create the path. The only thing that's going to create the path is you putting in the work. It's you having faith, and it's you being both committed and consistent. I'd rather be the person that somebody asked, how did I do it? than the person that just tells people that I'm going to do something and they never do it. Too many people are comfortable with that. It's time to execute. So make that commitment, make that decision, and understand that just because you want to get to the top of the mountain, it's not going to take you there. It's not going to get you there. The only thing that's going to get you to the top of that mountain is you climbing that mountain. And it is going to be hard. 